there's our thermite result cut in half. It's a little hard to see, but this is the iron here. This is a brass colored or gold colored blob with like a iron color in the middle. And this one here is copper with a tiny little bead of like an iron in the middle. So it looks like the molten iron is sort of like a nucleation site for the other reactants to, I guess, liquefy around it. And that's not a great thing because we wanna be able to have everything become homogeneous in this puddle in the bottom. So I did try to flux this thermite. So I put a bunch of borax flux on the very bottom, which is probably why we have this dimple here. And then I put borax flux around the top. And the hope was that everything would get hot enough to liquefy and completely mix in the bottom. But I think we would need to start with a hot crucible for that to happen. And I think that's cheating. I wanna stick with a cold crucible and just let the thermite reaction be hot enough to get everything into a puddle. So there's only one answer for this, and that's that we need more thermite. I know there's a lot of irons in the fire on my channel. Um, just bear with me because that's what I do. I do a lot of stuff in parallel. When one of them bubbles up to the surface and gains traction or has shows promise, then I pursue it a little bit harder, okay? And I'm doing all this stuff outside of like paid engineering work. So 90% of my time here is spent doing actual engineering. So bear with me on this stuff. All these projects will come and go. Definitely still working on the reactor. Definitely still working on Promptly 3D. Definitely still working on that laser project. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. Adios.